inspired thinker. Thank you for clicking on the video and checking in today. I am thinking a lot about the skill of listening. I've been teaching a lot of coaching skills to managers the last few weeks, and I love that work. I love sharing coaching with managers and leaders in organizations, on the ground, having conversations. And we talked about listening differently. How do you listen like a coach? And I feel like this skill is suddenly on my radar in a new focused kind of way. And I think it's because I've had to practice it recently. And I've been on the receiving end when there wasn't a lot of great listening. And we've all experienced that. We've all been that person and we've all experienced that lack of listening. So here's what I wanted to share with you. My reminders, my tips for how to listen like a coach. So the number one tip is listen for potential rather than listening for the problem. Our brains are kind of wired to listen for what's wrong, uh, what the problem is. Our brains want to fix the problem. So we're listening for the problem and we get really hooked into the story and into the problem. And that's where our listening tends to go. I want you to practice listening for potential. Another way to think about that is listening for strengths. What strengths are you hearing from the person you're in the conversation with? What's the potential for them? What potential do you see in them? What are you hearing as you listen about the person's potential? So potential strengths shows up in all kinds of ways when we tune our ears to listen for that. So listen for potential. And that's when you're going to be able to um, really show up for that person in a way that energetically they sense um, you believe in them, you're holding them capable of finding a solution, and you're listening, you're creating space for them. The other way I want you to think about listening is that idea of creating space, that you listen to create space for the person you're in the conversation with to, to share, to unpack, to be heard. I had an experience yesterday where I was listening <clears throat> for about an hour and a half. And it wasn't a coaching call, it was a friend conversation. And my intention was to listen and create the space for her to unpack how she was feeling and what she was thinking about. And I was managing myself to not jump in with trying to say the perfect thing or um, not trying to solve her problem or take away, try to say the perfect thing to take away her discomfort with her situation. That doesn't actually work. So this is also practicing empathy by creating space for people to be seen and heard and you are not trying to fix it. You are not trying to take their pain away. You are coming alongside them in their struggle and creating space, holding space for them to talk about how they're feeling and thinking. And that's hard. We are kind of conditioned to wanna to jump in, to say something. That's how we're helpful. That's how we demonstrate friendship. And more and more, I'm really appreciating that listening is doing something. Okay, so think about that. That's my tip number three, that listening is actually doing something. You don't need to use your voice. You don't need to insert yourself in the conversation. Listening is a form of action. Listening is doing something. So I hope you'll practice doing your listening um, and uh, using your mouth less, your voice less, your ears more, and really practice listening for potential and not being the fixer problem solver. It's really hard work. And when we practice it, I am just finding it so impactful and it builds such meaningful connection more so than 
fixing, solving, jumping in. So that's my tip for you today, my invitation for you. Um, I am excited in June, we will be uh, launching or running our Courageous Coaching for Leaders program. I think of this as kind of the entry program in Inspired Results Group. We offer lots of great learning. Courageous Coaching is a great starting place. And oh my gosh, we need to show up like coaches as managers. And this program, three mornings, three hours, you are going to be equipped with a skill set you can actually use. It's super practical. And uh, it's one of my favorite things to teach. So I hope you'll consider joining us, Courageous Coaching for Leaders. You'll see the link and information below this video. And we do talk about listening and we practice listening in that program. Have a great week. I hope spring is arriving wherever you are. It's definitely making a very slow arrival here on the West Coast. Um, so happy spring and I'll see you next week.